freaking out. What in the hell? How did this get here? Take it to shore right now. He's pissed off, I'll he tell is. you that. What are we supposed to do here? I don't know. I don't know what to do. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? do? I can't get out of this. You're I don't stuck. Have We just got to this darling little spot. Not really an anchorage on the map, but uh, we snuck our way in, had about a foot underneath the keel coming in, and well, it turns out we've got some friends in the anchorage. All right, I can count on one finger the amount of times I've been invited over to craft. That's right, craft. My friend Carmen over on Sauvage has so many crafting supplies. I've never seen anything like it. I'm really excited to go craft with her and Missy. Hi! <laughs> you know what's you? Who? The shark? This is called Peruvian wave. I want to make one of those. Yeah, super easy to make. This is a really pretty shell. This is perfect for a necklace. Cool. Oh my god, this is going to be so pretty. It's actually a clove hitch knot, so <laughs> that's all I did. <gasps> no, yes, you thank, you. thank you. I was so inspired by the ladies that I decided to do some crafting of my own. I invited all the guys to come over and craft with me, but no one showed up. <laughs> all right, what am I really up to here? This site you rarely see with clarity. We do not leave our dinghy in the water very often. And I was just reminded why when somebody's dinghy in the anchorage went missing last night. For us, the lesson was learned a long time ago. We take you back to the California coast in about 2002. We were making our first offshore passages, overnighters, and we arrived in Morro Bay after coming down the Big Sur coast rather tired. We were groggy and tired and didn't tie up the dinghy properly. That night, it floated off. The Coast Guard found it. They were somewhat alarmed that somebody had gone missing but we got the dinghy back. On another occasion in St. Martin, I witnessed a gentleman almost lose his life after his dinghy painter parted. So since then, I have been extra, extra careful, and I've been thinking for a while I should put seizing wire on the shackle that we tie our dinghy anchor road to. Now that's my kind of boat jewelry. All good. We are going to find a trash dump. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mission to dump the garbage. The chicken's running around. Let's roll it. Oh, nice Chris. Get it further than Chris. <laughs> All right, Nick. You're running, spinning. This is a very manly activity. It's called the trash throw. It's going to be an Olympic activity. Oh. Trash is a problem in the Caribbean islands, and mostly it's burned. Uh, you'll see these smoke plumes from miles away. The easily burnables, like your cardboard and paper, we take to the beach ourselves, and sometimes it's a social occasion. We all get together and burn the trash. <laughs> How old is she? She's nine. <gasps> you like Santa Claus with your big bag there? <laughs> I've got gifts for all the children. Because it's so cold here. It's freezing. I'm really chilly. We're just out walking our turtle. Um, What's our turtle's name again? Alan. Alan. Alan, our turtle. He's good, you know, he keeps pace with us. He's a little frightened, a little easily frightened sometimes, but hey, Alan, come here, pal. Come, on up. come here, Bob. Say hi. Come here, pal. Come on up, up, up. Come on, Alan. Hello. 
<laughs> Here, what'd you tell us? Watch out for the shark! They're gonna eat you! Is that what they do? Yeah! You know sharks eat turtles. He is? Oh, he's really big. This is our other pet. His name is uh, Shaky the Crab. Shaky! Shaky! Don't drink so much caffeine, man. Here. Oh my god, I just picked up that chair. That is so crazy. All right, this is so Good. funny. We were warned. Yeah, we were here at the campfire the other night, and they were like, there's a boa constrictor in these bushes. And we're like, come it's a on. rumor, come on. He's not pissed. Like, I'm going to the bushes. This is really, <laughs> really weird. All right, we gotta bring you up to speed here. This video you're watching is from a month ago, the last full moon in the Raggeds. And what you're about to see was filmed last night. And to bridge the gap between what you just saw and what we're about to show you, we're gonna do a little bit of a reenactment. Yeah, that was good popcorn. What do you think of the video? I mean, there's, I think it needs something. We got a lot of great shots. I'm not sure we have a real story though. I'm still rooting around for that. But I mean, we had a fantastic time down there. We did lots of stuff, but. Is that a snake? Oh my God, it's a snake. <laughs> Nick, what's it doing right now? Is it coming out? No. How did this get here? I am freaking the f out. You have to take it to shore right now. How am I gonna get it? You gotta put it in a something. He's pissed off, I'll he tell is? you that. Oh yeah, he's ready to strike. No. Oh yeah, look at him. Oh my God, I am freaking out that that was in the house. Where in the F was that? I have no idea. How long have you been here oh, with us? I don't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I do not like this. Well, he we, doesn't either. We don't want him to escape. Down into the into the hole? Yeah. All right, so do we have any bags? Oh my God. But I feel like we have to take him to shore. Do we have any snake protection? <laughs> I'm freaking out. This is really strange. So you just been climbing around? You've been hanging out with us for a while? <laughs> <laughs> Are you scared of snakes? I am so scared right now. It's fine to see the snake in its habitat. I am like seriously not okay with this. He looks unhappy. I know. You're gonna put, you can't put a bag on. Come. I can't put him in a bag? Well, how are you going to do it? We are not snake experts. We don't know anything about snakes. Is anybody knowledgeable about snakes on 16? This is Clarity. Uh, good evening, Carlina. This is Nick and Megan aboard Clarity. We're at Big Major Spot, and uh, do you know anything about snakes? I have some familiarity with some snakes. All right, well, a snake just appeared in our salon. He is guarding the salon, and um, so we can't get to our iPads or whatever. I can go down to the, to yeah. the hatch. They're rather small. Averaging 30, 12 inches to 24 inches in total length. Oh, no, no. It's a big one? Yeah. So we'll get an ID pretty quick. To, to my knowledge, though, he's not venomous based on the shape of his eyes. And what are you doing? I can't get out of this. You're I don't stuck? Know. Yeah, I don't. Okay, I gotta, watch, I gotta watch the snake. <laughs> don't hurt yourself. I know. What's up, buddy? What do you want to do? I don't see any comments yet confirming the ID. Okay, Roger that. Thank you so much. I'm going to get to uh, figuring out how to wrangle this guy. Good luck. Your life depends on it. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I need gloves. Oh, you think he's going in there? What do you think? It's a nice, good size bucket. I'm ready. I'm scared. Clarity, Carlina, over. <laughs> All right, I'm getting suited up. What do you got? <laughs> Still looking for to confirm an ID, but the other possible choice is called a Bahamian racer. You might want to Google that. Um, it, it does say it is a, a venomous snake. What are you going to do? All right, so I'm going to somehow 
kind of try and sweep him into this bucket here. It's okay. Oh, Whoa. he doesn't want to get He's in. He's not happy. Oh, God. You got it. Go on. There you go. Oh. Oh, God. Nope. Oh God. Nope. No. You're not going anywhere. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. Yeah. You got it. Go on. There you go. He's, he's gonna. Nope. Honey. No, dude. No, 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 no. No, no, no. snake is bagged. The snake is bagged. Thanks for your help. Good job. Can't wait to video. And <laughs> All right. We're going to head off in the dink. Gotcha. All right. You guys uh, have a good night. Be safe. And I'll go back to 1-6. Parlay to 1-6 and listen. All right. Clarity 1-6. Thanks for your help. I don't know where he's been hanging out. I don't think he got here today. That's kind of the scary part is don't think he just arrived. I think he's been around for Where's a while. Where's he been? Hiding. Hiding. Are we, are we ready to go? Yeah. So relieved. Although I'm kind of nervous that there could be another snake on board. So we're going to hurry to shore and get him back to his natural habitat. <laughs> Twinkle toes. Oh, there's a GoPro in here. Oh. Yeah, I'm going to sleep great tonight. Wow. Sorry, guy. What's his name? Uh, Jerry. Jerry, sorry. The tide is high. High tide? Yeah. Drop it here. Poor guy. Poor Jerry. What if he wasn't in there? Oh my god. <laughs> Yay! You're good. No, dude, other way. You're good. You're okay. You're welcome. You're free. He's fine. Yeah? Yeah. He's good. Okay. Right, I see bugs. Alright. Go. Bye-bye, Jerry. Have fun. I don't want to talk to I found it. The water is so warm. grateful that snake came out so that we could help him to shore but I'm a little nervous to go back in in the house where was where he? was he <laughs> where was he and how, how and how could we not see him how long has he been here and where like was he in a cupboard I don't know but, yeah like good thing you had that broom because you could shoo him oh <sighs> Wow. You gonna be able to sleep tonight? I'll be able to sleep, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, should we do our wrap up? I mean, this is a really weird episode. I know. So it's, we we could just thank everybody from right here under the full moon. It does. It is very fitting to be under the full moon here. Do you think we'll ever know how that snake got on board? I, I'm at a loss. There's only really two explanations for that snake. It's either the same snake that was by the burn fire down at Hog Key and it somehow swam swam or got into the dinghy or got into one of our bags and got into the boat a month ago. 
or just completely coincidentally, we were sitting around editing the video from Little Ragged Island that had the snake in it, and just so happened that that day, a very, very similar snake swam out to the boat. Which we were far from shore, and there were plenty other boats closer to shore than us. And by the way, more than 100 miles from where the first snake or the other snake was. When did it come on board? Tell us what you think. I'm sure there's a lot of folks out there going, it's just a boa constrictor, don't worry about it. You have to imagine that we don't know anything about snakes at all. And this one happens to have climbed aboard. And I remember sometime, long time ago, somebody told me that all water snakes are poisonous. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's true. Yeah. I probably should Google it. I felt like there was an intruder in the boat. There was an intruder in the boat. <laughs> I, w I think I'd rather see like a rat on board. Great. I don't want a rat. <laughs> I don't want any cockroaches. I don't want any vermin of any kind on this boat. No stowaways. No more snakes. Yeah. Anyway, we got through it and Jerry, as we named him, is uh, hopefully nice and happy on Big Major's spot. Yeah, that's a nice island. Yeah, there's uh, pigs on that island, so maybe he'll make some friends. And thanks, Jerry, for um, bringing this video to life for us. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, special thank you to all the patrons. We really appreciate you joining our crew. Yeah, we got a lot of new patrons recently, and uh, we just want to tell you how grateful we are for the financial support. We're in the midst of some huge decisions, and having you guys have our backs really helps us. All right. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next week. Okay, talk soon. Bye. Bye.